Bounce is a deck that I really enjoy playing because it's a lot of fun. But I was honestly a little bit surprised to see this deck doing so well when I was looking for what to play today on Untapped. It actually has a 58% win rate at infinite for positive 0.47 cubes. Granted, only over the course of 450 games, but there, are, there haven't really been a lot of games played at infinite so far in the season. If I look at game count, the highest one is only 3,500, and it's an Agatha deck, according to Untapped. Don't know what's going on with that. Maybe people just don't care after Infinite. Who cares? Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> sorry, I got a little distracted there. Um, I actually didn't do very well with this deck. I only went 9 and 10, um, and I think I lost 5 cubes. Now, the reason I lost cubes is just because I was a little stupid today and I decided not to retreat during any of my games recording. Don't ever do that. Retreat for one if you're losing. Don't be like me. I just got into the mindset of, like, uh, I didn't think I was winning, but I was like, ah, oh, it, it'll be good for content. But no, I just let so many people snap on me and it was bad. Don't do that. <laughs> um, it... And I've been on a bit of a cold streak anyways recently, so it's fine. The deck is fine. It's good. I've just been unlucky. If you saw my last video with the two egos and the Kamertage, you, you'll know roughly what I'm talking about. Um, the deck is still fine. The data backs it up, and it can put a lot of power down. Your main idea will just be to bounce cards back to your hand. Make sure that you set up a turn where you can play a bunch of cards to set up a Sasquatch, and then you can scale Bishop and Angela to the moon. <laughs> I think I got Bishop up to 21 power in this recording session. I don't know if that's accurate, so if it's if it's something else, don't yell at me. But <laughs> I'm just remembering off the top of my head. Anyways, I hope you enjoy the games. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. All right. Turn one, let's see what we got. Triskelion. Oh, we got a, a randomly generated Cersei. All right. Yeah, that's fine. We can uh, we can do something with that. We've got stuff like the Hood and Beast that that we can play with Cersei. Um, they play Quicksilver. Hopefully not from their deck. <laughs> yeah, no, it's from Triskel. Monster Island. Okay. Um, honestly, I don't. Well, no, I do kind of hate a Sentinel. I do kind of hate that. I kind of hate everything we can do here. So I'm just going to Sentinel. <laughs> it's all bad. Uh, okay. They play Angela? Cool. We could... Theoretically, we could Corvus Glaive here. Uh, the only reason I didn't do it is because, honestly, I don't want to discard Cersei. Cersei is good for content. <laughs> Especially a randomly generated Cersei. Oh, their Shang-Chi is gone. So that's fun. Nocturne. Interesting. Um, let's see what we got here. We got a Kitty Pride. Interesting. Um, I mean, we can go with something like this. I think this is fine. It's okay. It's not great. They play Fina right. I really don't like that. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I hope we. I don't even know. <laughs> Morph. Okay. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I think... Oh yeah, Morph turned into Corvus Glaive, I just realized. I, I was thinking about a double Cersei play. They, they just discarded their whole hand. Very sad about that. Granted, they can play their top deck with Kitty Pratt, so Fina is going to get buffed. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Um, okay. So... What we want to do here... Let's go with a double Cersei. Why not? So to clarify, I don't like Cersei as a final turn play. I I just don't. I don't think it's it's very good because you can't calculate it. But I'm gonna do it anyway. 
because they're living off their top deck. You know, maybe it's not too great. Let's see what we get here. Werewolf and Super Scroll. And then another werewolf? How did that happen twice? I am. Oh! <gasps> Oh yeah. no! Wait, but it's gonna get two! Oh my god! <laughs> oh. Never mind, I'm so sorry, Super Scroll. I am so sorry that I ever disrespected you. You are the greatest card. You, Super Scroll, buddy, you're amazing. You know, I think you're so underrated. Um, I'm definitely not just saying this for a bit and like because you won me the game, I've always thought you're a great card in every deck. You know, every deck should put you in, because you're so wonderful, and um, and and you've got a lot of muscles. I don't know. There you go. Um, <laughs> I was so disappointed when I saw Super Scroll, and then Super Scroll won me the game. Um, so that was a lot of fun. It is moments like this where I wish I actually had Cersei, because Cersei is um, a very fun card. I don't think that's... I don't think you can dispute that. Also, we got a crossbones. That's pretty lucky. I don't know how we got two werewolves, though. Was it because they were... I don't even know. I think that was random chance. We got two werewolves. Really low roll for us. Um, <laughs> but the super scroll, that's insane. <laughs> Alright, the hood and beast is good. Baxter building. Interesting. Um, we're gonna play the hood mid. We get demon. We could play the demon there too. I just don't really want to. Um, Aunt Maze. Okay, we're gonna play Bishop into Aunt Maze next turn. That's definitely what we're doing. Uh, Quantum Tunnel. I would love if Bishop rolled right. That would be great. I'd be so happy. Dazzler turns into Misty Knight. Which is a normal Misty Knight. Okay, that's a Patriot deck. Um, bam, bam, I can't count. Um, do we still like this? Because we're playing three cards, Sasquatch will be a three cost. We can play Sasquatch and Beast next turn. Yeah, I think that's fine. I think we're fine with that. They Jubilee. That's really good in Quantum Tunnel. They get Patriot off of it. And they Magic the Quantum Tunnel. Okay. Um, I don't hate it. I think we are going to end up committing this Angela left along with the Sasquatch. Because we do really want to win left. I'd love to get a cheap rocket, but this is just what we have to do. Um, yeah, playing Sasquatch left is definitely good because we just, we want to win left, right? Um, and then from there, we're gonna commit your Angela now. 100%, we need to get big. So, Beast is going to pull all those back. That's a Kazar, cool, whatever. I mean, a good Falcon. I don't hate the Falcon. I actually really like the Falcon. So... Bam. And then we... Actually, we can also play the Hood. Okay, so here, 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 and then Bishop is going to get super big. Ideally, Angela is going to get super big and we're going to be super big left too. Um, <clears throat> I am upset that they did not play anything left. I'm very sad about that. <laughs> Our bishop is insane, though. So we're going to have a 16 power bishop. Bringing all of these back to him. It's an onslaught, cool, whatever. I don't... I don't feel like they can win this. If I'm being honest. Um... Yep. Yeah. 
This seems fine. Uh, how big does Hit Monkey get? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten's pretty good. Yeah, I think we're we're fine here. Short of a Shang Chi, I don't know how they beat us. Um, that's definitely not a Shang Chi. I don't. I I really don't see them winning this. <laughs> I'm gonna be real honest. I don't. I don't see them getting this. That's their Jubilee from earlier. Pulls Ultron. But Ultron's not gonna win left. Yeah. Like, Ultron's big, but not big enough. It, it doesn't matter. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that was a super good game for us there, getting to 38 and 39. Bishop up at 21 power. Oh my god. <laughs> That's insane. Nice win for us. <laughs> oh, okay. Angela Bishop Black Swan. That's a good opening hand. Kitty Pride, too. That's insane. They play the hood. I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt and assume it's not a junk deck, because if it is a junk deck, that's the wrong place to play hood. Uh, Mojo World, we can play Angela there. That's fine. Completely okay. Let's see, what are they playing? They just play a demon. Okay. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, Dark Dimension. Okay, we do kind of hate that. <clears throat> makes it considerably harder for us to stop, um, like, oh, for us to stop any potential stuff from coming over. Um, I mean, I think this is fine. It's not wonderful, but it's okay. We're playing three cards, so we can play Sasquatch and Black Swan next turn, which I think is pretty good. Um, and then from here, we should be fine. I think we're definitely winning this game. I'm surprised they haven't turned off Mojo World yet, because I definitely expect them to turn off Mojo World. Oh, wait, I can't count. Sasquatch is three, not two. <laughs> uh, anyways, that's fine. We can just... Go with you and you. Um, maybe we play a Titania too. Do we play? Do we, do we play a Titania too? That'd be playing three cards, putting Sasquatch down to three, so we can play Sasquatch Hit Monkey with these Raptors and Kitty Pride, and hopefully we draw one cost. Seventy-five percent of the time we draw one cost. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is fine. What they play right? I don't know. <laughs> got no idea what they played right. They've got a Hood, Nebula, and Nocturne in their deck. I don't know. So I think... I think we can steal this pretty easily. And then... <clears throat> from this point, I think this is completely fine. Hitmonkey should activate with all this other stuff we played this turn, even though Dark Dimension doesn't reveal it until the game ends. I haven't, admittedly, I haven't played Hitmonkey very much in a long time. I think the last time I played Hitmonkey was probably in a werewolf deck that I did for this, for a video. But, oh, Lake Hellas. Actually, that helps them more than us. We only, somehow, we only have one one cost here. It's fine, though. We're at 27. Um, yeah, Hitmonkey does kind of Oh, wait, we sent the Titania over. It's fine. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's fine. We're okay. We're so big left, it doesn't matter. Um, what is that going to be? I don't know what card they're hiding there. Cersei? No. I... <laughs> I just went over this, literally, in my last game recording. Cersei, final turn, I don't like it. I do not like Cersei, final turn. Because it's just, you can't, you can't calculate it, and I don't... I don't like it, no. Um... So yeah, we ended up winning there. I am going to be honest, I completely blanked on the fact that we were sending Titanium over there. It didn't matter, though. Um, like, we were so big anyway. We have 13 and 12 there. So, yeah, we're definitely fine. <laughs> um, it's not like I missed something that lost me the game or anything. But, um, yeah. Nice job there. 
And again, Cersei final turn, I don't like it. But. <laughs> White Palace, we give them a beast. They give us a Cersei. <laughs> no way we use Cersei, right? Maybe. Uh, I mean, we have a beast. Let's just rock it. Turn one, right? There's no harm in it. We're gonna beast anyway. Uh, okay. Rocket doesn't end up working out. That's fine. Subterranea might actually be fine with Cersei. Yeah, we can go with this. This is fine. So, Nico and the Hood, watch this be a Widow's Bite, and I cry. <laughs> no, it's Angela. Okay. Um, Limbo, interesting. They probably know that we got Cersei from them, right? Like, you would have to imagine they know that. I think if we do play Cersei, I would not be surprised if we played Cersei left or right. We can't play Cersei mid because Demon is just such a good card and we've already committed it there. We could not. The only reason I played, because we're getting three, we'll be, a, we'll be at seven and we won't get a card draw. So we need to play Demon this turn. I think maybe a Cersei left looks potentially interesting. We could commit another hood there. Um, and Beast isn't a very powerful two cost, right? It's only a 2 2, so we're not like upset about that. Demon goes down, hope. Nico. Okay. Um, yeah, we can do something over here. If I had to guess, I would say they're playing Into the Hope, right? Like, why wouldn't you play Into the Hope? Like, you always play Into Hope. Yeah, okay. Um, so this is what we're gonna end up doing. Nico doing a lot of buffing, by the way. Buffing herself and then buffing Rocket. <laughs> so there we go. We played a hood left. They play Jeff and White Widow. I'm so happy they didn't play that on two earlier. Okay, I'd love to draw Falcon at some point. We really need a Falcon. Um, I mean, we can wait on the demon. <clears throat> do we? Do we Cersei this turn? I think we do. <clears throat> Sorry, pardon my throat. I, um... <clears> throat> I need to drink some water. No, um... Cersei... is good this turn, because if we draw Falcon, we'll want to play him next turn. So, we're gonna Cersei now, even though this location isn't full or anything. We get a multiple man and a saber tooth. It's not a horrible. We went from negative one to fifteen power. That's pretty good. <laughs> I'm happy with so Sasquatch, as a 5 cost, we could play. Sasquatch, she is playable right now. We could just play her mid. Right, like, that's not horrible. And then next turn... Because <clears throat> we're not going to play a bunch of cards this turn. Yeah. We will Sasquatch mid. I think we're okay with closing that off at 23. That's pretty good. They just play a rock there. They can move that Jeff, though, right? Even if they do move the Jeff, it's pretty hard for them to contest. Um... No, this isn't how you want to do it. Um, you'll want the Titania to be here, because... Titania's never going to fill up left. Because if they play a card there, then Titania can't fill it up, right? So, I mean, we're contesting, right? I didn't do the math on it, but... I'm, I feel like we should be good. Yeah. And then that's their Cersei. Okay. Go to 19. That's not enough. Yeah. There we go. So there. <laughs> this is why I don't like Cersei, right? Like, and it's not that I dislike Cersei. Cersei's a lot of fun. I don't have Cersei. 
Um, this is the only game I've ever played with Cersei. But just the idea that you're throwing a Hail Mary at five cost, like if that's what you're doing on the final turn of the game, it's Cersei seems like a bad final turn play. Because it's just, if that's your whole idea is to, is to randomize what you're going to get, basically, right? Like, and it's not completely random. Generally, you'll get better, but you don't know how much better. So you can't calculate if you're beating someone at that location. I think Cersei on 5 is a fine play. And probably is decent in some decks. But I just don't, I don't like Cersei on 6. In this case, on 7. It's just... You don't know enough, and information is really important in Snap. So, I, yeah. <laughs> it's just, I I don't see Cersei on 6 or 7 being a great play. We played Cersei on 5, yeah. Uh, we could have played Cersei on 6 this game because of Limbo. But just final turn, Cersei doesn't seem great to me. Anyways, on to the next game. <laughs> Alright. Turn 1... Got Wakandan Embassy. All right, maybe if we can get Nico to double herself. She can go up to eight. That'd be pretty good. Uh, Snow Guard. Oh, I hope they activate Wakandan Embassy again. That would help our our Nico idea. Oh, but it happened now. Damn. Uh, okay. Yeah, I mean we got to pull the trigger on it. Getting an eight power Nico is really good. They collector. Cool. Um, so we're up to eight. That is pretty good. And then, let's see what we're going to do here. Krakoa. Okay. Interesting. Can we play bishop there? I don't really want to play bishop left, but I feel like it's... We've been pigeonholed into doing it. <laughs> we can't play a mid, and I don't want to play him right. I mean, I'm fine with that. If you want to give me more buffs, that's okay. Technically, they got more buffs than I did because they have five cards in there. But, um, now they have six because they just drew one. But that's okay. Um, we can't ever play Titania there. I don't think so. I think we go with this. We're going to Black Swan right. Yeah, yeah, this is fine. They play Quinjet, cool. And Mirage. Mirage is going to give them a 1-9 Titania, right? I think. Okay. So Beast. Brings those back. And then... Okay, we do draw Sasquatch. We could play Sasquatch into Krakoa. That's definitely an idea. I feel like Black Swan is a better idea, though. And then we still want Sasquatch to be relatively cheap. And I think we're okay with Sasquatch being this cheap. Now, what do we not want to top deck? We do not want to top deck Falcon under any circumstance, because that would be sad. Um, anything else we top deck is fine. We could either, we could also top deck Rocket, or Angela, or Hitman. I know you can't see the deck tracker. Sorry, I'm working on it. Um, like, top decking Falcon would, would be really, really sad here, though. If, like, Cable, please take, wait, does that take the top card? No, draw a card from the other one's deck. Okay. Well, I hope they didn't get our top deck. We'll see if they... Wait. Does that also shuffle the deck? Oh, that might also shuffle the deck. If it did, that's terrifying. Anyways, um... This is kind of sad. I think Sasquatch... Kitty Pride Titania, is that, is that crazy? Is that a crazy idea? Like, because we could just fully commit to flipping there. I don't know what I think about that, though. I think... I mean...
mean we can't play Titania anywhere else, though? Like, safely. Maybe it is our best option, because we're just putting so much power right. And maybe we don't play the hood because we don't need it. The monkey's already going to eight. Yeah, this should be fine. It's the only place we can safely play the Titania. The Titania, sorry. <clears throat> so, it's what we're going to do. I think we're relatively okay here at 32. Devil Dino went mid. Would they play right? The 12 power Falcon. They did steal the Falcon. The Falcon was the top deck. <laughs> I am so sad. <laughs> okay. If we had gone mid, would we have been able to flip? Yeah, we would have. We would have won if we went mid. We went Sasquatch, Kitty Pride mid. That wins. Damn. <laughs> All right, Avengers Compound. Uh, well, we're not going to play Titania. <laughs> Novaroma, okay. We get Beast. We can we can play Angela into Avengers Compound. See nothing wrong with that. They play an Invisible Woman. Okay. Well, we don't have anything to like disrupt that. So we just got to get super big in two locations. I don't think they'll play into this this turn. I don't think they will. I don't. I don't see them doing that. We can go with this. Yeah. All right. So at least we, we know it's kind of like a Patriot deck, though. Yeah. Pride variant. It's awesome. Um. No, we don't Black Swan here. No, we go with this. realized I forgot to answer them. Um, okay, they do actually play a card. So that's nice. Hopefully we can get a super big rocket. That would be fun. We're not going to be drawing a card, which is a little bit disappointing, but I think we're okay. We can play Angela, Rocket, and Falcon. <laughs> the plan is just to get, it's just to get Rocket super big, super big. I don't know if that's actually a good plan. Like, I don't know. This feels like a bad idea. Um, we always play Angela. I think we need to Black Swan right now. Which feels kind of bad, but I think it's just what we need to do. So, I am fully, fully expecting Okay. We have to Falcon first. How big do they get left? It doesn't matter, because they're playing an Ultron left. Okay, wait. Three, zero, one, or one, zero. Puts them at four. Plus an Ultron puts them at 12. This is overkill. We don't need all this. Can move the black swan over. That's 10. You're going to be nine power, though. Move the Angela over. We're at seven. Seven plus nine. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, I think this is fine. And then from here, I messed up the ordering. Okay, okay, okay. Angela, Falcon, Rocket, Sasquatch, Titania. This one's? Right? That's me. You can't move that over. It was a Patriot. And it was a Mystique. Where is the goddamn Ultron? <laughs> I'm so upset. That's Brood. Okay, they didn't draw Ultron. What's that on the left? It's a Wasp? I think we're good. Unless that's somehow an Ultron, but it can't be. What do we think they played here? Three? That's a three cost? Is it just like... Like Cyclops? Cyclops will lose. No, it's Sinister. We win. Awesome. <laughs> okay. So for the record, this does beat an Ultron left. 32. It would have had Dazzler. Dazzler would have been at 8. The drones would have been at 5 each, so it would have been 8 plus 15, which would have put them at 23. I did my math right. So this would have also beaten the Ultron line, I think. Definitely. Right, we were so big, right? So yeah, good, awesome, nice win for us. <laughs> All right. Uh, we theoretically could play Rocket here. I will, I guess. Oh, hey, we hit something. Nice, we hit their Kitty Pride, awesome. And then Bifrost, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Um, we have Beast. We do have Beast. We probably should have played Falcon left. My bad. They play an Angela. So... Definitely don't hate this idea. Okay, come on. <laughs> you kidding me? All right. <laughs> they don't play to the Angela lane. Um, yeah, Sasquatch mid is fine. Loki? Okay. They're gonna get a lot of cards for free, because we have a lot of one-cost cards in our deck. That's a little bit scary. Don't like that very, very much. Um, they're snapping. Honestly, you can probably leave here. I'm not going to. We're gonna play bishop left and then beast mid. They play Angela and bishop in the same lane. That's kind of scary. I dislike that. Ah, uh, okay. I mean, it's the best shot we've got, right? We play Angela, Rocket. Do we play Nico here? I think we do. I would probably retreat here, but I'm just gonna see how it goes for the video. Because I, I don't imagine we can win. I'm really surprised they played Sasquatch. That was a misplay. Hold up, we're actually fine, right? We have to be. I don't even remember what we played left off the top of my head. Oh yeah, it was the rocket. Yeah, we're fine. We're actually gonna win this. Why'd they play the Sasquatch mid? I guess, I guess they thought they'd try to win mid and left, but I don't know, we just, we can get really big too. 24 and 19, that's not horrible. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so I guess, discount what I said about um, leaving, I, I had more faith in their plays than I should have, I guess. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, no, I guess maybe, maybe Sasquatch mid was okay. Because I like, I obviously know that I was giving up on mid. I wasn't going to contest it. And they don't know that. 
but I still I don't get the beast right because that beast brought back a Colson, right? So the beast just lost them power. Maybe it was to, it was to buff the bishop, I guess, by one power, which might have been relevant if they had put the Sasquatch left. He also buffed the hit monkey by two, so it was a net five power to play the beast. But yeah, I don't I don't know. Good win for us. <laughs> Savage Land. Okay, so Falcon is going to be a little bit worse this game. Um, yeah, I mean, we can play the hood. That's fine. I am okay with that. And then from here, we're probably looking to just Kitty Pride maybe with Rocket next turn. We could Rocket right. I don't hate that idea. Um... So let's see, that's Monster Metropolis. We do have Black Swan in hand, okay. Yeah, let's rock it right. I think they're gonna play something with the X-23. Another Carnage, Hulkbuster, Wolverine, just like something, right? Yeah, they play a hood. Makes sense, because you want to build up that destroy lane. That was a pretty easy prediction for us. We would love to get beasts that we can play in this lane. That's the best case scenario. Um, Monster Island. Okay. <laughs> immediately disprove what I just said. Um, we could just develop the Kitty Pride, we could Black Swan, there are a lot of things we can do here. Um, man. Let's... We are running out of space, but we need... We do need to actually do something, right? So let's... Black Swan left. And we are really hoping we top deck Falcon. Or Beast, or just... Something that allows us to do stuff. <laughs> that would be great. Um, okay. We did get Angela. Which is good. We are happy that we got Angela. So I think we're going to play all these cards. We're going to make Sasquatch super cheap for next turn. I'm expecting a Killmonger from them, which is terrifying. No, Sentry. Okay. I think they have a Killmonger in this deck, which is what I'm really afraid of. But we just kind of have to, um, to deal with it. Yeah, they retreat. Okay, so we had gotten pretty big. We were pretty healthy here. We were probably going to play the Kitty Pride with a Sasquatch left, probably, right? Yeah. Um, Hit Monkey, we don't play this turn. But yeah, every, everything set itself up pretty well there. We The board did end up getting a lot smaller than we generally want it to be, and we didn't draw any of our bounce stuff, but we still found a way to win, so... It's okay. And what I mean by the board being smaller is there were raptors and monster put on the board that we didn't necessarily want because um, <laughs> we had already committed cards. Like We had a hood and a rocket here, and um, these raptors are annoying for Falcon, and it's just really annoying, but <laughs> we ended up making it work, so yeah. Nice. Okay, the Abbey... Um, well, we definitely play the hood there, and then we honestly might also play Angela there. It's an option. We could also just play the demon there, though. We don't need to commit an Angela there. Uh, Titan, that's pretty good. We could just Beast immediately, but no, I think we're gonna Angela. Because we have Beast, I'm okay with the Angela play. And then here, we can play Bishop mid into a Demon Beast on four, or something along those lines. Um, yes, yeah, this is how we want to do it. They play Black Widow, that's not very nice. At least Bishop can get buffed. Yep, we'll just go with something like this. This is completely fine. They play Korg, a little bit annoying. They play the Hood, that's fine. Grandmaster, maybe? Yeah. 
And it is Black Widow. It's definitely the most annoying one. Um, okay. We barely have enough space for the Kitty Pride yet. Okay. I really don't like this Widow's Bite. It's very, very annoying. Um... <laughs> We play Sasquatch. Oh, and then we don't have energy for the keep right now. I think that's fine. We're getting so big, right? I don't think it matters. I think we're okay. I kind of have to play the Widow's Bite if we're going to play the Black Swan. Is this fine? Are we big enough? Yeah. Yeah, we're big enough. This is fine. Darkhawk. That's big. I think we're okay, though. Like, they'll at least have to contest it again. So, we'll see. We will see how it goes. We're up at 22. It's as big as we're gonna get there. Now we just have to focus on these locations. Yeah, I like this. This is fine. Um, I would not be surprised if they win this game. I also wouldn't be surprised if we win, though, because... Like, thinking about what they can do. Might have a Shang-Chi in deck. They have a Shang-Chi, they can win right. But how do they win mid or left after that? I don't really know. Um, this might just be, like, a Mega Disruption deck. In which case... Yeah, I don't think there's anything they can do to beat us. They just leave. Nice. 